last my last video I showed you how to make these little earrings. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tubular netted necklace to match them. Now I had a request for tubular netting and I have done tubular netting in the um, netted rope bracelet tutorial. I have done that. However, that is the closed style of netting. This is the open style. You use smaller beads and you use more of them to make a more flexible type of, sometimes it's even collapsible type of weave. Now it all depends upon the size and the number of beads you make to get that collapsible type of um, netted effect. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the netted, the netting stitch is always the same. How collapsible it is, how many beads you put in your round, that's all optional. But it's always the same stitch. So you can make this uh, necklace the entire thing, just the netted portion, or you can do what I've done and add different sizes. What we're doing today is we're just going to change our netting just slightly in the amount, number of beads that we use here and there. And then we're going to change the size of beads that we use to get this effect. So, um, like I said, Stella, if you want, she's the one that requested, if you want to just make a netted necklace like you showed me, you will just do this section here. Don't worry about all of these. And if you want it more collapsible and you want it smaller, then you will just use smaller beads and you can use 15 O's instead of 11 O's. But the stitch is always the same. Anyway, let's go ahead and look and see what we will need for this project today. Let's look at what we're going to need for this project today. Keep in mind, I do not have the proper amounts out on my mat. I just have the types we're going to be using. I will tell you the proper amounts and write them in caption, but just don't judge by my piles because they're not right. This takes quite a few um, beads, so you want to make sure that you have plenty to start with. Now, you're going to need a 6 millimeter round bead. I am using a textured 6 millimeter round glass pearl, and it's blue turquoise. And um, you're going to need approximately 68 of those. Now, I'm saying approximately because um, that can change, that can vary if you decide to do your segments a little bit different than I do. So um, have at least 70 of them on hand. Or maybe more if you do a longer necklace and do more segments. It depends upon what you decide to do. Then you will need a four millimeter round bead and you'll need two different kinds of four millimeter round beads. I am going to use a crystal for one in my, my um, segments and one in my main netting. And the one in my segments is going to be a four millimeter round crystal. <clears throat> and it is an opalized Chinese crystal. And it is, um, you will need about 56 of them. Maybe a little more. Then, um, or perhaps less, depending on what you do. And then you'll need a four millimeter round bead for your main netting. And you're going to need, this is what you're going to use the most of is your main four millimeter round. You're going to need around 204 of them, maybe even more. So depending upon your length. <clears throat> so make sure you have plenty of your four millimeter round that you choose. I am using a glass pearl, kind of a off-white creamy color, glass pearl for my four millimeter round. Then for your netting, you're going to need two colors of 11 O seed beads. Your main color, my main color is going to be silver. Your main color, you're going to need a lot of seed beads. So don't start with anything less than 10 to 20 grams. Just put them out, maybe 15 to 20 grams, 10 to 15 grams, something like that. You probably won't use that much, but make sure you have more than enough to start with. Have a good amount of your 11 O seed bead that you're going to use in your main netting. And then you will use a, another 11 ounce seed bead that's an accent color for your crossover bead. And <clears throat> you'll need quite a few of those too, but not nearly as many as you will of your main color. So two colors of 11 ounce seed beads. I am using a Toho Galvanized Silver for my main color. And I'm using a Toho AB Blue Turquoise 11 ounce for my accent color. 
Then you will need a clasp, and I'm using this little silver tone toggle clasp. You can use any kind of clasp you want. And let's go ahead and get started with this project. Put onto your needle two wingspans of eight pound fire line. <clears throat> we will begin with four four millimeter round pearls and four of our accent color 11O seed beads. Establish which 11O that you want to be your main color and which you want to be your accent color and have three times as many of your <clears throat> main color as you do your accent color. We'll begin with the accent color however and we will pick up a four millimeter round, an 11O seed bead, a four millimeter round, an 11O. So you're going to put all four of your beads, your big pearls and your little seed beads alternating each other. You're going to start with a four millimeter round, you're going to end with an 11O. With an 11O between all four, like this. <clears throat> We're going to bring this down to the end of our thread. We're going to leave a 12 to 16 inch tail, however long you like to have for your clasping. You have to have at least 12. I like to leave a little bit more than that because I don't like to sew with really short thread. Now, you're going to come back through all of these beads from the tail side. So just sew back up through all four of these beads. And pull them around into a circle. And then we are going to tie the working thread and the tail in a knot between the beads. And this is what you should have. We are going to begin tubular netting. Now, tubular netting, there's basically two types. There's an open, flexible type of tubular netting, and there's a closed tubular netting. My tutorial on the netted rope bracelet is the closed type of netting stitch. This is the open type. Now if we were to add one more bead it would be a lot more collapsible than even we have here. Or if we used three millimeter rounds and 11 O's and we used five of them, um, you'd have even more of a collapsible type of netting. We're using four millimeter rounds and four 11 O seed beads. It's still, with the toe hose, it still makes it rather firm. So it's not going to collapse, but it's not going to be closed and tight like the netted rope bracelet we did. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up four or three 11 O seed beads in our main color to start our netting and one accent and then three 11 O in our main color. So this is what you should have. Three of your main, one of your accent, three of your main. Now with tubular netting, you're always going to work from your 11 O seed bead. So make sure you're exiting an 11 O seed bead. You're going to go over the top of a pearl and then you're going to go into the next 11 O seed bead and pull. And it just creates a little point like this. Now we are going to pick up three more 11O in our main color, an 11O in our accent, three in our main color, and we will skip over the pearl, go into the next 11O, and pull. And again, pick up three in the main color of your 11Os, an accent, and three in the main color skip over, let's go in a little bit closer for this one, skip over the pearl, go into the 11 O seed bead, avoid your tail, and pull through. And again, three 11 O seed beads, an accent, three in the main color again, like this. Skip over the pearl, this is our last segment and we need to step up to get up to these little 11 O's in the peaks so that we can add our next layer of pearls. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip over the pearl, we're going to go into the 11 O behind it, and if you can do it all at the same time, 
grab the three 11 O's here behind the 11 O on the other side of the pearl. So this is what you should have. You come through the 11 O, come through these three 11 O's and exit. We are then going to go up into the peak 11O, your accent color 11O. And now we're ready to add our next layer of pearls. So we're going to pick up a pearl, and then we're coming out of this 11O, we're going to go directly into this 11O right here, and pull. As you pull, it'll gather the netting up, cup it up around the pearl. Pick up your next pearl. You're coming out of this 11 0. You're going to go into this 11 0 here. Pull and cup it. And you're not going to get it real tight until you finish the round, so don't worry about it too much. Pick up another 11 0. You're coming out of this 11 0. Go into your next peak 11 0. Cup it up, pick up a pearl, go into the first 11 0 you started in, and the pearl behind it, and pull your thread through. Now that was kind of sloppy, sorry guys. Anyway, I'm just pulling through it, and then I'm going to go into the next 11 0. So, what I did was I came up through the 11 0. The pearl and the 11 0 behind it. And now it's created like a little drum shape. Now I am going to go through one more pearl and one more 11 0. Just because in this first or the second row, I want it to be nice and firm and established so the rest of my weave will be. Easy to, easier to handle. So if you go through another pearl and another 11 0, it kind of tightens everything up. Now make sure you're exiting an 11 0. Right here is where I'm exiting. We're going to begin our next row of netting. Pick up three 11 0 seed beads and one accent color, three 11 0 in the main color, like this. You're coming out here, you're going to go into the next 11 0. And again, we will pick up three 11 0 seed beads, an accent color, and three more, like this. We're going to go from this 11 0, skip over the pearl, go into the next 11 0. And one more time, three 11 0 seed beads in your main color, one in your accent color and three more in your main color. Skip over the top of this bead, go into the 11 on the other side of it, and pull. And now we're going to do our last one. So we're going to pick up our netting, go through this 11 and then climb up these three 11 and then into the peak on the top. So pick up three 11 in your main color, and then an accent, and then three in your main color again. Skip over the top of the bead, the pearl, go into the 11 0 on the other side of it, and then up the three 11 0s in the netting segment that you started with, your first one. If you can get through the accent bead, go through it too. And now, this is what you'll have. You'll be exiting the accent bead on the top segment of the netting, and we will add our pearl section. So pick up a pearl. You're coming out of this 11 0, go into the next 11 0. And again, pick up a pearl. Go into the next 11 0. Cut them up. 
pick up a pearl, go into the next 11 ohm, pick up a pearl, go into the next 11 ohm, and the pearl, and the 11 ohm after that. It just tightens everything up. You could just go through the 11 ohm, but it just doesn't make it as neat or as secure. And again, we'll do one more segment of netting. Pick up three 11 o seed beads, an accent, and then three more, like this. You will, you're coming out of this 11 o, you'll skip over the pearl, go into the next 11 o. Pick up three 11 o's, an accent, and three more. like this. Skip over, go into the next one. And then again, three, 11 o in your main, your one in the accent, three in the main color. Skip over the pearl, go into the 11 o on the other side of it. And then let's make our last segment over our last pearl here. One, two, three, eleven O's in your main color. An accent and then three in the main color again. Skip over the pearl, go into the eleven O on the other side and the three eleven O's on the other side of it into your first segment of netting. Pull through, come through the top bead, and add your pearls. Now, this is very repetitious. There's no need of me showing you the entire segment we're going to make. We're going to make 12. Okay, so I have made my 12 rows of tubular netting. And like I said, you will count the 12 Start with the very first one, and you'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. So you just kind of count at a little Z-shaped um, shape this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve. And now I'm going to change the size of my beads. So it's pretty much the same thing. We're just going to add one more seed bead on the first um, larger bead, and then we'll put a smaller bead in the middle of, the, of uh, the two segments of larger beads, and we'll go back down to three seed beads. So let me show you what I mean. For this one, I've stopped here. I'm coming out of the 11 -0 seed bead, and I'm ready to put my next segment of netting on, but I'm going to add a bigger bead. So I'm going to pick up four of my main color 11 -0 seed beads. And then I'm going to pick up my accent color and then four of my 11 O's instead of three. So now you have four, one, four. And again, you're going to go from the 11 O you're exiting, skip over the pearl and go into the next 11 O seed bead, just like this. And then again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pick up four 11 O seed beads. one accent for 11 O's and we're coming out of this let's back off a little I keep getting out of frame we're going to we're exiting this one we're going to skip over the pearl and go into the next one it's the exact same thing we've just added two more beads to our netting so we're going to pick up four one and four And again, skip over the pearl, go into the next 11 O seed bead right here. Then again, pick up four. And an uh, accent, and then four more. Like this. And on this one, we're going to step up. So we're going to go from this 11 0 
into the 11 on the other side of the purl and then up the four 11 O's in our first segment of, of netting we've created on this row. Whoops. And now we will go up into the 11 O. Just like this. Now we'll pick up a six millimeter round bead instead of our four millimeter round pearls. And we'll go from 11 O in the first uh, segment of knitting into the second. Then we'll pick up another 6O and go into the second. We're coming out this one, go into the next one. Just like we've been doing, but now we're using big beads. And we'll go into the next one. Right here and then pick up another one. Ah, beads are flying. And we'll go into the 11 -0. The first six millimeter bead we added. And then into the 11 on the other side of it. Just like that. And now we have started our first segment of figure beads. So we need to now we're going to um, decrease again and we're going to add our crystals in between the bigger rows. So we'll have two rows of six millimeter with a row of four millimeter crystals in the middle. So we're going to decrease again. We're going to pick up three um, 11 of seed beads in our main color, one in our accent color, and then three in our main color. We're going to go over the top of the six millimeter bead into the next um, 11 oh, just like we've been doing. And again, pick up three, and then one, and then three of your 11 O's. And again, go into the next 11 oh. And this lays tighter over the top. We're allowing the room in our outside segments with our four beads, but our inside ones, it's going to be a little bit tighter because we're going to decrease. So they will lay tighter against the beads. And then again, we're going to pick up, ah, that bead doesn't want to work. We're going to pick up three, one, and three, like this and go into the next. And then again, three, one, and three. Some of these beads are blocked on the inside. So here we are, we're going to go into our last one going to go into the 11 O and the three 11 O's on the other side of it and then back into our accent color 11 O in the middle of the segment here. Now I am going to extend my fire line and we will do our next segment. I'll be right back. Okay so now I am coming out of my little 11 O seed bead on the top of my segment of netting here. I'm going to now pick up a four millimeter round crystal. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go from accent 11 0 to accent 11 0, adding four four millimeter round crystals. And just pull it up tight. It's going to pull over the top of the six millimeter crystal. So you have to kind of pop it in there. And then again, we'll pick up another one and go into the next 11 0 in our netting. And then again, pick up another and go into the next 11 0. Just like this. And then again, one more. And go into the next one. And go through the first crystal and the 11 0 on the other side as well. 
and this is what you have now. Now again, we're going to add some netting on top, and since we're going over the top of a 4mm round, we are going to use three 11 O's. In our main color, one accent, and three 11 O's in our main color. Skip over the 4mm crystal, go into the next 11 O. And again, three 11 O's, one of the accent color, three more of your main color, and then into the next. So the stitch never changes, we're just changing the size of the beads and therefore we will change the amount of beads, but only the amount of seed beads, but only on the outside. So on when we're going from the pearl on the outside of our bigger segments, we will use four. Then when we step down into our four millimeter size, we'll use three. We'll use three on the top of the four millimeter size. And then when we add our six on the outside, we'll go back to using four on each side. And I will show you what I mean. I finish my segment of netting here all the way around my four millimeter round crystals. I'm just going to continue adding three, one, and three, and skipping over the large bead, going into the 11 O's, and on the last one here, I will go into the 11 O, and the three 11 O's on the outside here. And then back up into my accent 11 L. And now I am going to add a large bead. So I'm going to pick up a six millimeter round. And again, I am going to go from 11 O to 11 O in my netting. It's so adding my larger beads. And then when I get to the last one, I will go through the six millimeter round and then through the 11 O on the other side. And the first one that I put on, just like that. Now here is where we will begin our next segment of netting with four 11 O seed beads, one accent color, and then four 11 O seed beads. We will skip over the top and go into the next one, just like we've been doing. And again, pick up four 11 O seed beads, one accent color, and four 11 O seed beads. Skip over the top, go into the next one. And again, very repetitious. I will show you how to do an entire segment and what we're going to put in between the larger bead segments. And um, it's actually a set of two. We'll do, we will do a large, a four millimeter crystal, a large, and then we'll do a row of four millimeter round pearls, crystal, pearls, and then we'll go back into our large beads, a row of crystal, and then large beads. And that will be considered an entire enlarged segment on this necklace. Okay, so I've got my last one here. Sure, I have the right amount of beads here. Yeah, I have five on there. Okay, so I'm going to go into the 11 0 right here and then up the four on the other side of it.
and then into the 11 now on the top here. And now we are going to make a row of our four millimeter round beads. So we're going to go back to our pearl here and go into the 11 O's again. Just going from accent color to accent color, just as we have been doing. To cut my thread on something. There we go. And then one more. And we will go through the 11 O, the pearl, and the 11 O behind it, and pull. Just like that. And now we have one large segment. We're going to do a segment of pearl, crystal, pearl, and then begin another large segment. So we will do exactly the same thing. We're going to go back down to our three 11 O seed beads, one accent, three 11 O's, and go from seed bead to seed bead all the way around. And like I said, the stitch never changes. The only thing that changes is the side of beads or the amount of seed beads. That's the only thing that changes. So it makes it easy to make all kinds of variations with this. And like I said earlier, you can just you can do more in your base row. You don't have to do four. You can do five. You can do three millimeter pearls with 15 no seed beads. It makes it a lot softer and more collapsible. You can do um, almost any size, any amount that you want in your base to get all kinds of different effects. Okay, so. I just went four and I don't want four, I want three. And then again, up through all the beads. And here we will add a segment of four millimeter round crystals. So, again, we're just going to go all the way around all of our beads. And come through the last one and the bead behind it. Start more netting, and this time we're going to Again, we're going to use three, one, and three in our seed beads, and then we will add one more row of four millimeter round pearls. So go ahead and do your knitting and add your pearls, and we'll be back. Okay, so I have added my knitting and my four pearls on top. So now after my large beads, I have a set of pearls, a set of crystal, a set of pearls, and this is where I will begin my four seed beads in my segment. So, you see here I have four in my netting um, and it's scrunched up. So okay, I'm going to go I correct. corrected the little mistake I made. Now, if you have four where there's not the big beads, it's just going to scrunch up because you don't need four 11 O's where you're having your little four millimeter rounds. That's why we skip back down and we only do it on the outside to allow room. Even though we don't do it on the inside here around the big pearl, it makes a difference because you've got these this play on the outside. So when you're going to add or you're coming back out of a segment of large ones, you'll add your four. Anytime you're going to put in a four millimeter round instead of a six millimeter round, you're going to use your three. So 
Now we're going to go into large beads. We're coming out of a segment of small ones. So we're going to add our four 11 O seed beads and then one accent and then four. And we'll go through the next 11 O seed bead. And go ahead and add your netting all the way around. And then we'll come back and put it in our six millimeter round beads. Okay, I have made my four segments of netting with four 11 O seed beads and then our one accent and then four 11 O all the way around. And now I'm going to add my six millimeter rounds. Again, just if it's just as we have been doing, I'm going to pick up four of my six millimeter round beads and bring them all the way around from seed bead to seed bead. And then over this um, bead, I'm going to start my next segment of netting. So I, now I'm going to go back down to four millimeter size. I'm going to put a crystal in between because we're going to do a segment exactly like this one. So we'll have um, a large row of beads, a row of crystal, a large row of beads, a row of pearls, a, lar a row of crystals, a row of pearls, a large row of beads, a row of crystals, a large row of beads, and then we'll go back into our pearls. So now since we're going down, we're going to pick up three 11 seed beads. Three eleven o one accent, and then three eleven of our main color. We're going to go from this seed bead to this seed bead, and do exactly as we've been doing. Go ahead and go all the way around with your um, three one three all the way around. Add a row of four millimeter round crystals, and then do a get a row of netting on top of those crystals with three, one, three in your seed beads, and then add a row of six millimeter rounds, and then you will go into your four, one, four seed beads, and then you will start a row of four millimeter round pearls. So go ahead and do that, and we'll be back. Okay, so once you have finished with your second segment of large beads, so you'll have your large bead, your crystal, your large bead. You will then go back down into your four millimeter round pearls. And you will make a segment of nine rows of four millimeter round beads. This is very repetitious from this point. So I'm not going to show you each and every segment that we make. You know how to make the large segments now. And the large segment will always consist of one row of six millimeter rounds, a row of crystal, a row of six millimeter rounds, a row of pearl, crystal, pearl, six millimeter round, crystal, six millimeter round. So that is an entire large segment right here. Then you will put nine segments in between and then you will do another entire large segment. Six millimeter, crystal, six millimeter, pearl, crystal, pearl, and then into your large um, six millimeter segment again. Now when we get to that point, when you have two full sets like this, you have your 12, your full set here, your nine, your full set here of your larger beads, we will be to the center portion of our necklace. After you do your second large set of beads, you will then change it up just a little. You'll come out into your four millimeter rounds like you do on all these parts, but then you'll do a row of crystal and then you'll add four 11 O seed beads with your one accent and your four 11 O and you'll go back up into only one set of six millimeter rounds. Then back down and you will again use your four 
seed beads because you're going on either side of six millimeter rounds. Then you will um, add another set of crystal, set of pearl. Then you will do exactly the same thing on this side. This will be your center point where you make your one row. Then you will do the exact same thing on the other side. Let's zoom out so you can see what it looks like. So this is what you will do. 12 of, you will start with 12 units of four millimeter round. Then you will make an entire segment of your large beads, which consists of six millimeter, crystal, six millimeter. Then pearl, crystal, pearl, six millimeter, crystal, six millimeter. Then you will go back down into your pearls and you will make nine. Then you will start with another segment of six millimeter, crystal, six millimeter, back down into pearls, crystal, pearl, six millimeter, crystal, six millimeter, pearl, crystal, and then a six millimeter round. After you get to that point, that's your center of your necklace, dead center. You're going to do exactly the same thing on this side, same numbers and everything. So now you're going to start with a row of crystal, pearl, work up into one large segment, make your pearl, crystal, pearl, make another large segment, and then do nine segments of pearl, a large segment with your divider in between, your pearl, crystal, pearl, another large segment, and then 12 small segments of four millimeter rounds. When you get to the end of your 12 millimeter rounds, go ahead and make your netting around each of the pearls and then end right there. Just leave your thread on and we'll be back. Okay, so as I said, I ended mine with my four millimeter round row and then I put my netting over the top. I then just left my thread after I've come out of the top of an 11 0 seed bead and I've just left my thread long. I took my needle off and I have put it on the tail segment that I have reserved from my beginning. So when you start, you want to leave a fairly long tail. And then you will begin putting the netting over the top of the pearls on this side because we need to be able to attach our toggle clasp now. So I'm coming out of one of the 11 OC beads from my very first segment where I started my net, my um, piece. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up three 11 o seed beads and my accent and then three 11 o seed beads. And I am going to just put my netting on just like we've been doing all along. So go ahead and put netting all the way around. We're coming out of this one on our very last segment and we're going to step up. So we're going to go into the next 11 o seed bead and then up through this 11 0 seed bead here. Just as we've been doing all along. Now we want to add our clasp. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go from seed bead to seed bead and we're going to pull this netting together. So just slide from 11 0 to 11 0 in the top of your netting all the way around and then back into the first one and draw your beads together. After you've drawn your beads together, sew all the way around a couple of times, cinching them in tight and making them very secure. And now I'm coming out of this little 11 0 seed bead right here. I am going to pick up a couple more 11 0 seed beads in my main color and then I'm going to pick up a crystal like this and I'm going to drop this down. Then I'm going to go through my one end of my toggle clasp like this. Whoops, let me back up a little. I need a little more. Drop this down 
<clears throat> after you've gone through your clasp loop, then go back down into your crystal and pull everything down to the necklace here, like this. And come up just a little bit closer again. Now, we were coming out of this side of this little 11 over here. We're going to pick up two more 11 O's. And we're going to go into the opposite side of the opposite bead over here. So we're coming out of this side of this bead. We're going to go into this side of this bead and pull. Just like that. And now we are coming out of this little bead here. We're going to pick up two 11 0 seed beads. And go up through the crystal, then around the clasp, and back down into the crystal. And you can see that I have a little, let me get close, a little three segmented um, clasping here. So now I'm going to go down into this bead here, these two beads that I'm coming out right on top of, back through the 11 O that's right underneath them, back up through the bead, back up through the crystal, and what I'm doing is I'm just securing my clasping. So I'm just sewing back through all of my beads. I've sewn through these two segments of 11 O's here, so I'm going to go back down through my crystal and through these two 11 O's right here. And pull. Go back down through this 11 O here. and pull. And now I'm just going to sew down into my netting. If I can get in it. It's pulled pretty tight, so just try to get down into the three beads right underneath where you are. It's really arguing with me. There we go. And come out Right there. And it doesn't matter exactly where you're at or exactly where you put the beads on top, just as long as they lay nice, look nice. And then you can just go back down into your netting. <clears throat> Grab a half hitch knot between the beads. And then pull your thread down between the beads. And Make sure I didn't go over the top. I did. I went right over the top of that bead. Okay, so I'm going to fix that. Anyway, <clears throat> you will just tie a knot and go down through your netting. And tie a couple more times trying to get your thread between the beads. Don't go over the top like I just did because then you're going to have to go and fix it like I'm going to have to do now. So you just tie off the end and then put your needle on the other side and do the exact same thing on the other side with the netting that's already there provided for you. Tie off and we'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and put the clasp on the other side of my necklace and these are the earrings I made from last time and this is what the ensemble looks like together. It's kind of pretty and like I said this variation I'm just showing you how to do um, a little bit of change up in your netting so that you can make almost any kind of combination you want. I hope I didn't confuse you with the segments, but if you pause and look at the picture, you should be able to see it. Plus, um, I will try to caption it or put it in the description box how many rows of each so that you will have something to um, refer back to. Anyway, this is what this morning sky set looks like. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.